going. Okay, um, now we're gonna solder the yellow and green jump wires to the motor. So you want it so that if you're looking at the motor like this, the um, green wire is on the left and the yellow wire is on the right and the solder joints are at the top of the motor. The solder joints are these little two tab things right here mm -hmm. on a brand new motor, they look like that. Right. And this is the side with the shaft that looks like a D where it's flat on only on one side. Um, the other side of the motor, the shaft looks flat on both sides, two sides. So this one is already done, and we're going to make this one look the same. Your yellow wire will not come stripped, so you're going to have to strip it. Wow, that was so hard to strip. <laughs> Um, and then you're going to make a hook with the end of the wire and hook that to the solder joint. Well, the, the tabs. The tabs. Which will become solder joints. And if I'm looking at it like this, the yellow is going to go on the left. And I want that wire to lay flat the way it is on the other motor. And then I can close that hook if I want to, but this could be dangerous because you don't want to break the tab. And then solder this on. that and then we just want to make sure that the yellow wire is laying pretty flat after that. Then we'll do the same thing with the green. Make a hook. Hook it to the tab. This time it's green so it's on the right if you're looking at the motor like this. And then solder that in place. And here's what it looks like on the actual robot there. Compare that to that. Green on that side, green on that side. And the last side. and the last step is to put a zip tie around that at the smallish part right before the um, shoulders. Close that zip tie pretty tight, and then cut off the end. And then you'll have the motor look just like the other one, like that. Yay!